humongous volcanoes, authentic street markets, epic cruise ports, signs of ancient life. The Isle of Sicily has it all. Previously, I have ventured around Catania, spent a hot day in Syracuse, jumped off the train, not literally, and explored Messina, and now I can pick off a new Italian town on my list. I think I'm actually crying up here. It's a definite hay fever. <laughs> Oh, so beautiful. So without wasting a second, welcome on here everyone to Palermo. Right now I'm in the capital of the Sicily region and the fifth largest city here in Italy. And I cannot wait to show you around. Hello guys, I am Lewis. You are watching Lost in Travel and welcome on here to the next episode of my Sicily series, Palermo. I was a wide-eyed soul Searching high and low When I found you on that day Then the answer was clear Winds drift others away But we will always be here I'm just walking through some of the alleyways and I've got to already say, Palermo feels so authentic. It feel, doesn't feel touristy at all. It feels like I'm just mixed in with the locals, the way that they would just live their normal lives here. I've just walked past this really cool building, but it's so delicate. You can tell it's been abandoned, but you can tell like in its heyday, this would have been amazing, but it's just left run down. And I think that is just the authentic style of Palermo. So much graffiti, so much just going on, chaos everywhere. And of course, <laughs> the Mafia does have a massive history here, but I think it's just what makes it so special to me all of a sudden. I just feel it's so genuine. Can't wait to explore more. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how even in Europe, I still feel culture shocked? Like, Italy's not even that far away from us, but the difference in the way my lifestyle is to the people who live here, it's so significant, it is quite mind-blowing to be honest. Not in a bad way, but just in a how is life so different when they're literally only across the water. It is just crazy to me. But anyways, um, it's one thing I love about Italy and coming here is just the difference in the way of life and just being able to immerse yourself in that. I already feel like I'm becoming a bit Italian. I'm just walking across roads left, right and centre now without a care in the world. <laughs> Me just walking on the road, not giving a damn anymore. <laughs> These buildings are so nice. Oh my god! My greatest piece of advice for doing photography in Italy: see your Vespa. Doesn't matter where it is or how it's placed. Take that photo. <laughs> So I have walked about 20 minutes away from my accommodation. I'm going to start the furthest away and work my way back. And right now I am in Villa Giulia, which is a nice free, every, it's always nice when it's free, public garden here. And I came for a stroll, I've heard there's a cafe, so I'm going to go to see if I can invite myself there and have something to eat and a nice refreshing drink because it's a really hot day today. It's been quite humid, so I'm already sweating like mental. But anyways, I love public gardens, it's always just nice just to relax and then just walk around get lost in your own thoughts so that's what I'm gonna do right now Heartbeat in the quiet Spotlight in an empty room A song in the silence My dreams come into view So I just want to mention something to you guys about obviously solo travel and only traveling with hand luggage that was the restriction i've put on to this trip i've only came with just my backpack and that, that means i'm limited with a lot of stuff i'm getting my host of the accommodation right now to be washing my clothes thankfully he said yes to that i just told him the whole situation about how long i'm away for it and i've only came with hand luggage so you know i need my pants and he's thankfully doing that today but I also had to limit myself on lenses and of camera equipment if I really wanted I could have took everything I've got 
<laughs> my bag would literally just be full of camera equipment and no clothes. I could just walk around nude and just with all of my, at least I'll get the good photos. But I've literally only limited myself to this lens. I, I forgot how difficult it is to just be using one lens. Right now I'm using the 20mm f1.4 and this because it's really good for vlogging so it's quite versatile and I can do the video stuff and I can do photography. But oh boy it's been tough. I guess that it's just what I've got to put up with if I want to be a travel photographer. Sometimes I can't take the heavy guns out with me to play. Sometimes it has to be stuff like this. And I hope that when you see my photos going down onto Instagram, please follow me if you haven't done so yet. I'm very active on there with stories and whatnot. Hopefully you'll be able to see that I have tried to be creative with the tools I've got here. What happened to your pet ego, bro? Girl, how did your ego head over here? Was it uh, something I said? It's how you feel after watching 10 Lost in Trouble videos back to back. I've got to say it's a good thing that weeping angels don't exist or <laughs> I guess I may be screwed. Or do they? Don't blink. So this again, just like back in Syracuse, is giving me very Greek vibes with the statues and just the way it's all laid out. And I guess that just proves how significant Sicily was for um, the ancient history, the ancient world, how him, like Sicily was the point where it's been owned by the Romans, it's been owned by the Arabs, it's been owned by Greeks, it's been owned by Phoenicians, like Sicily is just at that central point where I think back in the ancient world everyone wanted to colonise this place. So it's got a mixed range of architecture and I think that is what I've been loving so far about my Sicily trip. Just seeing this wide range of ancient history just thrown right into my face. Guys, this is what I'm talking about when I told you that I feel like I'm just walking through different cultures. Welcome to ancient Egypt. Right now I'm strolling through Palermo's Botanical Gardens, which is right next to Villa Giulia. Just way to get out of the heat, it's 34 degrees and I thought the best way to do that is to go and visit some plants. So here I am, and hey, it's only 4 euros for students, so why not? I feel like I'm just in the mood to visit some greenery right now. Sicily is quite a sandy, dusty region, and hey, I'm now surrounded by palm trees and other various type of plants, which I've got no knowledge on. Why did I choose the path that is covered in palm tree <laughs> leaves to walk through to get to the other side? <laughs> Piece of cake, right? <laughs> Alright, so it is another day and I'm now back out exploring Palermo and I've got to say it's a little bit more chill tonight. It's um it's six o'clock but I think the weather's totally calmed down so it's actually a good idea for me to have came back out because now I can walk around and living wearing a hat is actually very relaxing being back out here um, early evening. But behind me right now is Norman Pal it's the Palace of Normans and I've got to say Again, the architecture here, so sublime. Even just there, the difference between that part of the building to the difference between that part of the building. I think I'm actually crying up here. Um, it's definitely a fever. <laughs> so, so beautiful. Did I notice that the mountain range just circled the whole of Palermo? <laughs> I think I'm a bit overwhelmed.
Goodbye, Palermo apartment. So today is my final day here in Palermo. I've just checked out my apartment and I've got to say the weather is rather different today. I came out and I actually felt a bit of spit coming down from the sky. Um, so I guess it may possibly rain today. Actually fingers crossed I've not seen rain in a long long time and I may be regretting saying that. You know when you live in Scotland you come to get a bit frustrated with rain. I say it all the time but I think here it doesn't happen that often so when it does happen you truly do thank the lords for bringing it down. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably not going to be doing much today just because I've got my heavy bag on, but there's still a few other things I need to see here in Palermo, so I'm going to take this along with me, and then we'll get ourselves out of here tonight because I have got something very exciting planned. With everything I've ever done, I give it all to everyone for one more day. So I finally finished walking down that high street here in Palermo. That's such a long high street, I'm actually quite knackered from doing that. But I was, to be fairer, I was walking in and out to get some nice photos because there's so many nice cute alleyways and cafes and picturesque restaurants dotted all over the high street. So I was trying to just nip in and out of the crowds and get all of those images. Anyways, I've made it into the pier. I'm now tired because of my bag. Let's find somewhere to set up shop. Italy and their roads, by the way, nothing gives me fear more than Italian drivers. I found the traffic light. I pressed the button. I went to green light. Five cars didn't stop. One rule for everyone. Another rule for Italians. So guys, right behind me is Messima Theatre and this is the largest opera house here in Italy. When it got created in the 1800s, people here wondered if there was really any need for a theatre to be that size. Why would we put all of our money into this? But due to the plays and the shows and the performances that got put on here, people started to fall in love with this theatre. As, as did I, as soon as I saw it. So guys, I've just been to a pizzeria for my dinner, my last night here in Palermo, and you know, you just can't resist having a pizza. So, that was so beautiful, only seven euros. I was really lucky, I, I, I could have been fat and had another one, but you know, go save those pennies. But honestly, what a night it has been here. It's actually a bit more chilly tonight. It's actually been raining today, so that's why I've got my hoodie on. And I'm about to leave Palermo, but, you will see that all in a later video because next time I'm actually going to into Cefalu, which I've already been to. You can even check out what I have to say about Cefalu right now. I have had a, such a fun day today. Kefalu just blew it out of the park. I was so as you see, that's a video you do not want to miss out on. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy today's video, then please drop that like. Show for your family and your friends and subscribe because Cecily's been amazing and... Why not, right? Help, help me out. Anyway, have a nice night. I'll see you later. Bye. Why can't we be friends? If it's so much easier. Before we got our feelings hurt, and I can't pretend that it's easy. Why?